So I managed to score a free iMac. Uh, it's an old one, very, very old, and it originated, I believe, somewhere in Europe to start off with because it's got a European plug. Uh, you'll have to excuse the state of this room, but if we look down here, you'll see it's actually in an adapter so that I can plug it into a North American uh, socket. Uh, it looks like it's a, uh, a mainland Europe uh, iMac originally, but anyway. So anyway, yeah, I, I can replace that cable at some point. But um, it, so the first thing I have to do is basically erase it and uh, then I can get this up and running and this will be the kids computer which is why it's with the tiny little seats and stuff so this is going to be the uh, kids first ever computer I guess uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah no idea how long it will last if it lasts a year that'll be great but uh, for free I mean you know I can't complain so yeah very happy about that so right now I'm just getting uh, the boot from USB going and um, yeah I'm gonna just reinstall the operating system so there's absolutely nothing from the previous owner on there and uh, yeah we'll see what happens. So after two hours of trying to get the hard drive to be recognized so that I could wipe it and then having reset the pram I was able to boot into a safe mode and then having booted in safe mode ran disk utility to repair the permissions then rebooted again. Now the installer finally saw the hard drive. So I was able to run the other disk utility to erase it. And now we're finally installing Mac OS Sierra. So we'll see how this goes. It says seven minutes, but I think it might take a little bit longer. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. Let's have a look where are we at right now. It is four minutes remaining. Okay, so if two minutes is half an hour, four minutes should be about an hour to go. Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, so another 20 minutes has gone by and where are we at now? We are at three minutes. Okay, so yeah, I guess maybe another 10 minutes might make that go to two minutes. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so it's been another 10 minutes and yes, we are now at two minutes remaining. So it does look like two minutes is 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, so let's see where things are at now. It has now gone to the next stage. So, okay, yes. So two minutes is 30 minutes on this iMac. <laughs> I know this one's an old one because it's a 2009 model. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's still free and the kids, I think, will love it. over in a minute but I mean this pretty much looks brand new it's uh, back to what it was there's only one small piece of discoloration and that is this underside but I mean for a, a keyboard that is nine maybe ten years old now I believe this is a 2007 keyboard um, you know it's it's not in bad bad condition I mean you know there's no scratches or anything on it it literally just had a lot of gunk on it so anyway by running it through the dishwasher it's come up looking good, so now I will go and plug it in and make sure it still works. Yeah. 
Yikes, I'm trying to deal with all this stuff. Right, okay, so here is the keyboard. Um, you know, as you can see now, we are looking at a very nice and clean keyboard. It is incredibly nice. And okay, so the screen's gone off on the uh, the Mac. So I am now going to try and plug this in. And turn this, here we go. Right, okay, so keyboard is in. And for the moment of truth, all right, I'm gonna come back and Way we have life, it works. All right, let's uh, try and log in for a second. Okay, keys all came up and, oh yeah, we're in, it works. As you can see, I've also updated this machine to Mac OS High Sierra. And uh, yeah, it seems to work. Let's get rid of that birthday notification. Okay, there we go. So, there you go. One resuscitated free Mac working. Hey there. Okay, so as you just saw in that video, I did something which is sort of counterintuitive, and that is I took apart the keyboard and ran it through a dishwasher. Now, I'm going to say this up front. I am not aware that this works with the aluminium keyboards. It's only with the old acrylic and uh, plastic only keyboards that this works. So something to bring up about that keyboard. You can't just go and wash a keyboard in the dishwasher and you know, plug it in 24 hours later. That will not work. Uh, what you need to do is you need to wash it. You need to make sure that you dry it properly as best as you can, but then don't plug it in for at least seven days. Like give it enough time for all of the moisture inside and the dampness to get out as well. If you need to use silica gel or rice or something like that uh, held near the keyboard to try and draw out the moisture, by all means, you can try that to speed up the process. But when I plugged in that keyboard after even three or four days, it was not ready. It, it just it was just not working. Uh, very unresponsive. Uh, yeah, I was actually worried that it was totally fried. Uh, you know, I've done this before and it used to work, which is why I did it again. I was quite happy to do that. But having said that, I did have a backup keyboard just in case that failed. Uh, one of the newer aluminium ones, but I really wanted to get the old one up and running because, you know, it came with the machine and it would be nice to actually have it up and running. There was nothing wrong with the keyboard previously other than it was covered in food. Um, so yeah, by running it through the dishwasher, the dishwasher uh, detergent, that's gonna clean the food off, absolutely no problem. It basically took seven days for it to go full circle, dry out completely, and then I could plug it safely back into the computer because before that it just wasn't ready. So having said that, you know, your mileage may vary. Uh, you know, I obviously wouldn't suggest that you run your keyboards through the dishwasher very often, but I'm pretty sure that in nine years, that's the first time that keyboard has been washed. So, you know, it wasn't gonna be the end of the world if I did totally destroy it. Uh, but having said that, yeah, I, I, I'm not responsible if you kill your keyboard as a result of it, but you can do it at least with those plastic ones. I wouldn't suggest doing it with the aluminium keyboard though. Okay, all right, have a good one. Speak to you soon. If you like these videos, please hit the like. And if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye. So just so you know, when I did first attach it uh, a couple of days ago, it still, after even three days, it wasn't enough. And so I had to give it that full seven days. Oh, really? Where was I? Okay, I'll just go from the top again. Right, so. Hello, Lou is very kind. Lou wants to speak for a minute. Can you come? Because we're going to tell something together, okay? Yeah. Well, we are the famous. No one can stop us.